Hey everyone, Mysterion here. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get a notification when the next episode is up here on YouTube. Remember sitting in front of the TV on Saturday morning, maybe you were watching a cartoon and all of a sudden an ad came on for that new awesome toy. Maybe it was the Millennium Falcon. Maybe it was something with G.I. Joe. Maybe it was a WWE wrestler. Whatever it was, I remember the influence those commercials had on me. Because right then and there, I wanted to go wake up my folks and beg them to take me down to the toy store. Whatever that was, I'm going to bring you my favorite top five toy commercials of all time. And we're going to take a look and see if I even have the toys that are being advertised only here on Toy Tantrum. My house. I'll bring my guys. You have yours. I've got junkyard dog. Ah. It's World Wrestling Federation superstars. I've got Brutus <laughs> Beefcake. Ah. Here's George the ah. Animal Steel. I've got Great ah. Hammer Valentine. Ricky the Dragon Steel. Yeah. They're so real. And Rowdy Rod Piper. Ah. Can you tell the difference? Yeah. 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 Wrestling superstars. They're for real. Each sold separately from LJN. Yeah. Disguise. Changes called the right before you rise. Sartan. Introducing Sartan. Sartan changes color in sunlight. There's Sartan. He's escaping in the chameleon. Let's go get him. Yo, Joe. But Sartan has a disguise. Where's Sartan? I don't know any Zartan. Zartan changes color in sunlight, and Zartan comes with the chameleon. Other figures and equipment each sold separately from Hasbro. What do we have here? It's Castle Grayskull. And it's mine. Not so fast, Beastman. He-Man! You can pit He-Man against Beastman playing for the power of Castle Grayskull. You have to put the castle together. Beastman's escaping. What's wrong, Dad? Dad, you saved the castle. Castle Grayskull from the Masters of the Universe collection. He-Man and Beastman each sold separately from Mattel. New from Kenner's Star Wars collection, the Millennium Falcon that you put together. Batteries not included. Nice landing, Han Solo. Uh-oh, come on, Chewbacca. Stormtroopers are coming. Action figures each sold separately. Got them on radar. I'll fire the laser cannons. There's even a hidden storage hatch. Ready for takeoff. Jump to light speed. We're gone. On to the Death Star. New Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Action figures each sold separately from Kenner. Now, for every kid who has ever seen a science fiction movie, thrilled to the amazing strength of an out-of-this-world movie monster, comes Great Garlu by Marx. Garlu the Mighty. Garlu the Untamed. Garlu the Terrible. Who can stop him? Who can control this monstrous creature? You can, kids, because Great Garlu by Marx is yours to command. With these battery-operated controls, you can make Garlu go. Stop, bend, pick up, turn. Yes, Great Garlu, almost two feet tall, will be your faithful servant. You name it, you're the boss. Bring out-of-this-world excitement into your house, kids. Own the most fantastic toy of all. Great Garlu by Marx. M A R X spells Marx, world's largest toy maker. The best part about being an adult is being able to buy any toy I want whenever I want to. But way back when, that was not the case. And I always remember just drooling over when the new LJN wrestlers would come out. Now, 
That first commercial in position five showed six different wrestlers, and I'm going to show you two of them that were in that ad. There's Junkyard Dog, and this one's not only the one with the silver chain, but also the very rare red chain. This is a very rare variant, so that's an expensive figure. But the one that I wanted the most was this guy, Rowdy Roddy Piper, host of Piper's Pit, but you're a lousy wrestler. It's as simple as that. I might be a lousy wrestler, but I'm still in there. I'm going to pay on nobody. And the best bad guy in the business. In life, I ended up meeting and getting to know Hot Rod. I took him to media appearances in Toronto and went for lunch with him. And I have to say he is or was a super, super guy. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. But this figure was one of the figures I got in 1985 on Christmas. And I will never forget opening this guy up. So there is two of the six, and I have all six. They're just hiding in here from the first commercial. I remember I would beg for G.I. Joe's to fill out my collection on a Saturday, my Aunt would take me to the mall to get groceries, and somehow, some way, I always managed a toy. And one of the prime toys in the 80s was, of course, a G.I. Joe, preferably a Cobra. Now, the second toy on our list in position number four is this guy, Zartan, Master of Disguise. This figure came with a vehicle, and it was at a higher price point and a little bit more expensive, but I do remember getting it because I just had to have it after seeing that amazing commercial. And I've actually brought him outside and he still turns blue in the sun all these 35 years later. By the power of Grayskull, every kid in the 80s loved He-Man or She-Ra and the place set to get was of course this guy, Castle Grayskull. Of course I have Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain, the greatest playset of the time. Let me turn this on here. I, I think I'm getting it too loud. Skeletor, the master of the universe. Christmas in 1979 got me one of the greatest toys of all time. Finally, I had the Millennium Falcon to battle against the evil empire. Now I'm going to do another review on the Falcon at a future date. So I'm not going to show you the inside of the Falcon, but I will show you that the Falcon is there. And that's my original from when I was a kid, the Millennium Falcon. I have that uh, one. Largely very dangerous. Who is this? What's your operating number? Uh, boring conversation anyway. The Great Garlou by the Louis Marx Company. I have passed these off at toy shows. And unfortunately, the toy that holds the number one spot, I don't have. I do have this really cool reaction. The Great Garlou, mighty, untamed, and terrible. You are his master. And there is a representation of the Garlou that I am still looking for. Perhaps sooner than later, I'll have a Garlou to add to my collection. But anyway, I get this great Garlou, and now, like, like within a day, I it was humiliated because it was so boring to play with. <laughs> it, like, it didn't it, do anything. All it could do is bend over from the waist and pick <laughs> shit up, and then, like, it could barely pick up anything. Like, if it had to pick up, like, a <sighs> ping pong ball, he couldn't hold on to it. Were you it, embarrassed to show your parents that you weren't that into it? No. So what <laughs> happened was the neighbor next door used to beat me up uh, all the time, this kid Johnny, Italian kid. <laughs> And uh, he got a robot, but it wasn't Great Garlou. It was a different robot that shot balls out of its hands. <laughs> that sounds cool. And so the one day he didn't beat me up, he said, hey, why don't you fight me with your Great Garlou? Let Great Garlou and this other <laughs> robot fight. And I was like, finally, I'm going to fucking win a fight. <laughs> All I know is what I forget the name of his robot. It was just another popular thing. Right. right. Garlou goes up. I go up. Garlou got his ass kicked. Aww. This thing was shooting rockets at him. <laughs> Even my robot got beaten up. <laughs> <laughs> Your plastic robot. Oh, my God. I took that robot. I never looked at it again. <laughs>
Thanks for joining me here on Toy Tantrum. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in my favorite place, YouTube, next time on Toy Tantrum. This is Mysterion, PhD and T-O-Y-S.